Another Thursday night, another Riverbend Talent on the Big Z, brought to you by the Halpin Music Company and by our buddy, Mr. Matt Van Voorst of Macias Insurance. Sea Shanty Sing Along already underway down in Morrison's Irish Pub, as it is every Thursday night. Matt Tall underway up at George's Pub and Grill in Jerseyville. He'll go till 9. Matt Heaton at uh, Big Daddy's already underway until 9 o'clock in Edwardsville. Mo Pleasure should take the stage at Patrick's in Granite City until 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, let's see, Butch Moore, 6 Butch. to 9 at the cabin at Judy Creek and Len Carbon, <coughs> Ethan and Ashley already underway up at the uh, Prairie Inn and Dorsey, started at 5.30, they go till 8.30. And then the Experience Live Music Row all underway down there. Uh, several uh, venues there and uh, performers, and uh, most of them going until 9 o'clock. Also going on later tonight, we'll have the open mic with Mr. Jamie Dunn at the Raiden Cajun in Alton. Trivia night at the Conservatory in Alton. The Truckers at Fast Eddie's from 7 to 11. Blackie Starks down at Deutz Village Inn in Pontoon Beach, 7 to 11. Scott Marlin, 7 to 10 at Pavia's Place in Granite City. And then the Grand Band on the road down in Belle Belle at the Abbey starting at 7. Open mic night down there as well tonight at H's Bar in Belle Belle. And that's hosted by Brad No. And it starts at 8 o'clock. And uh, folks, I think Pigman's going to get his hair cut off. <laughs> you just never know, man. I've, it's happened before. It spontaneously came off one time. That wasn't even for charity. That was like a... You accidentally washed your hair with uh, Nair that time. Uh-oh. I, 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 hear, I so. hear a dissident voice talking about uh, Nair. It's yeah. time to introduce the guests. Uh, tonight, we've uh, we've got a couple folks sitting in with us. Uh, starting just to my right is Mr. Anthony Perez. Anthony Perez, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Anthony Perez is, is heading up... Uh, uh, an event called St. Baldrick's, and, and St. Baldrick's is something that's been around for Yeah, it's been while. around for a while. Uh, uh, do you know where, where it started? I believe it started in California, but California. I'm not 100% sure. So, yeah. It, uh, but those, they've been doing these events for quite a while, and what what it is, is a it's a charity. It's a fundraiser. Absolutely. And it is for children with cancer, raising yep. money for... for uh, research. Re, for research you know, uh, trying on to children's cure cancer. cancer. Yep. And... and you know, I don't know if anybody remembers this little thing called March of Dimes, but but everybody gave up a dime and they cured polio, and and, and it changed life for everybody. Yeah. And and so you know if you're out there going, oh my gosh, we've given money, we've given money. Hey, look, it it's the only way we find the cures. It takes money to find these cures, and and if you've ever known a child with cancer, you know that it's worth every penny uh, that you're going to give, or even an adult for that for that matter. Anybody. Uh, so so uh, next to Mr. Anthony Perez, uh, my good buddy, Mr. Jeff Nelson. How y'all doing? Uh, Jeff Nelson is uh, the one who brought this particular event to my attention. Uh, I. I have uh, given uh, my donated my hair uh, in the past to this uh, to Locks of Love, which is another uh, similar uh, situation. I was unfamiliar with St. Baldrick's till Jeff brought it to my attention, and he brought it to my attention because he's getting his head shaved. Yep, this is the uh, you know second time uh, I didn't know what to do over COVID. So I grew my hair out. <laughs> I wasn't sure what to do. Well, it really started with you couldn't get a haircut over COVID. You know? Oh, lean, wow, my hair. Lean yeah. just a, uh, a little so bit of the mic my, there. my hair kept getting longer and longer and longer <laughs> over COVID. And I thought, Showing what a great a thing Ooh, to uh, have, you know, donate it to, to somebody that has cancer. So I grew it all out, chopped it off. And here I was looking for events online somewhere near here, and I and, and the Wood River Fire Department comes up that they're, yeah. they're hosting an event, and you know, I've got to get this mop cut because it is just driving me crazy. Oh, see, actually, he see if you're watching the video, you know, while he said that right. he, he had his hair in a ponytail and he let it down, and I'm going to need you to move your chair close to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, for Dead those sexy. Just listening on radio, his hair well past his shoulders. <laughs> yep. so. Down to the middle of my back now. At, at at night, you know, it's always like in my face. So I can't wait to get it cut off. He looks like an educated Fabio when he took no. I <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's not a butter. 
Oh, man. Uh, so, so, so uh, not only is Jeff Nelson your buddy, but he's got a few things going on in the music world. Yes, indeed. He Higher does. sounds, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we we, What's we do your have website there. Higher sound. Uh, you know, I'm not even sure because we don't uh, advertise. Yeah, we, advertise. We, we, we don't. We, we don't, do word of mouth yeah. events. We uh, do it on cottonmouth.org. Yeah. Yes, we got higher sounds links. Yes, there, so yeah, absolutely. I, I I don't think higher sound has a Facebook page or a website because it's not like we're out looking for gigs. We're just having fun <laughs> yeah we, we like to have uh, big boy toys and play with them and uh, there's a few events that we really love to do around this area and, uh, and even out folks. of this area, out of you're, this area you're yeah. going up to oh, wisconsin to do the mile Absolutely. of music uh, yep. uh, which you've been doing for what four years now or something? four or five years four now five yeah. years did it the first now. year by myself Whew. don't ever go to a festival and try to do it by yourself folks. Oh, yeah, yeah. it is too R difficult running mains running monitors uh, the, uh, for, uh, for a festival 40 Not minutes switch bands. outs yeah, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> eight bands a day man yeah Yep. Uh, which is pretty much uh, uh, the the gist of what we do with Higher Sound as festivals uh, for the most part. But yeah, also, bass player. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there oh. you go. I, I you know I used to play with this guy Johnny Bash back in the day. He used to come <laughs> to my house and do some barbecues and sing around. me some songs. Yeah, it's a good yeah. guy. And see, I, I I bet he's saying things like uh, "Heaven or Hell." Oh yeah. Oh yeah. First time I ever heard that song. Yeah, I can see First that. First time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, well, you know, also, uh, you mentioned uh, how long uh, this event's been uh, going on. Anthony's been doing it 15 years himself. Yeah, 15 years. I uh, started out as a Chevy with Edwardsville Fire Department. So um, back then I was in paramedic school, and one of the guys that was in class with us, he was an Edwardsville firefighter. He came to the class and said, hey, we got this event going on. We need some people to sign up. So I signed up, and along with a lot of other of the medic students, we signed up, shaved our heads, and then um, after I got my paramedic, um, you know, I started working for Highland Fire Department. I said, hey, we need to bring this event here as well. And so I started hosting one up there, and 15 years, here we are, and, you know, we contributed a lot of money that we raised for um, St. Baldrick's. A lot of heads shaved. <laughs> you know, I think on average we were averaging around four or five thousand uh, dollars, you know, fundraising. There were some years where we had more. We would get up to I think ten or twelve thousand. Nice. Wow, nice. Yeah, that's awesome. Now you mentioned you uh, worked with the Edwardsville Fire Department, the Highland Fire Department, but this is taking place at the Wood River Fire Department. Yeah, you yeah. So I didn't work for Edwardsville. Just one of the guys that I oh, went okay. to school with was there. So the reason we chose Wood River Fire Department to hold it this year. One of my good friends from high school, Billy Owens, um, his son uh, got diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma earlier mm, in the year. That's tough. And, uh, you know, I've known Billy since eighth grade, which is back in the early 90s. So I've known him for a long time. And he's a volunteer with Wood River Fire Department. So I, I contacted the uh, <coughs> deputy chief, Nate Camp, who also went to high school with one of my good friends and, and said, hey, you know, we I think we need to set this up for, you know, in honor of, of Billy's son. And so that's what we were going to do. Unfortunately, because some unforeseen circumstances, um, there was a death in Billy's family. Um, between that and some other things, we decided that we were going to do a virtual event. So it's still being sponsored by the Wood River Fire Department, but we don't have to actually be there. Okay. It's just one of those things where we didn't want his family to have to, again, be out. Uh, you know, they're in, in a state of mourning right now. Yeah. So. Mm. So we're going to do a virtual event, so you can shave your head whenever you feel like it. Oh, absolutely. The only thing that we ask is videos, pictures, you know, post them to our website so everybody can see it. I know a guy that has cameras and some, like, <laughs> audio equipment around yeah, here somewhere that may be able yeah. to help, uh, familiar. produce, you know, some <laughs> segment that would just be epic. I yeah. almost feel like there's cameras on us right now. now that you it say it is that, awesome. I feel weird all Well, you know, the, the, the spy satellites in space looking down on you, you know, seeing what you're doing. Hey, Mom. <laughs> Uh, so, so, okay, uh, so if someone does uh, get a picture and, and wants to submit it, where would he uh, submit that? So we have our website. So you can go to stbaldricks.org forward slash events forward slash Wood River Fire, and that'll take you right to our website for our event. 
Because yeah. if you just you can go to just say Baldrick's dot org, yep. that is going to take you to the national. Yep. Then then it's going to say where you want to go. Yep. Village River. Mm-hmm. And so so you know. Yeah, because there are events held all over the country. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Maryville Fire Department just hosted theirs last weekend. They did a fantastic job from the pictures and, and the people that I've talked to, and we see it a lot with a lot of fire departments. You know, a lot of the fire departments like to host them. There's fire also, departments give back all the time. You guys we are try. always like we doing try. stuff in the community for this or for that or for yeah. whatever. Uh, I mean, remember you and I went and picked up Girl Scout cookies at the, at the, uh, <laughs> at the fire, fire department, department yeah. as well. Yeah. I mean, it, I it's just awesome a, uh, how much you guys give. I come from a family of firemen. My dad was a fireman. My, uh, his older brother's fireman. My my mom's brother fireman. Uh, you know. My my grandpa's brother. I mean, they just uh, half the Alton Fire Department I yeah. was related to at one point, and, and they were they were old. That was back when they used to have to fight it by hand. They'd have to actually <laughs> box them. <laughs> yeah. Carrying buckets of water, <laughs> wrestling the fire down in red rocks. And, you know, it's a different time, man. Firefighting. <laughs> it's all online now. I hear. Yeah, uh, <laughs> no. COVID changed a lot of things. You know. Right, that and AI. Right, it's going to start fires out with fires. Zoom. <laughs> yeah, hey man, everybody log on to Zoom. We got a fire to fight. Now. Yeah, don't you wish it was that easy? Yeah, well, I wish. Yeah, it, it would. Yeah. It would be nice. But no, it, it is a. Uh, it, you know, it, uh, firemen are are uh, uh, always uh, folks that have been. Uh, you know, they're, they're community driven people. That's why they're doing what they're what they're yep. doing. Yeah, and Billy. Doing. You know, I've known Billy since high school, but we actually we were on the Hartford Fire Department for I want to say about four or five years um, before I ended up moving. Um, I was on. Fairmont City Fire Department for a number of years, and then when I moved to Highland, I joined the Highland Fire Department. Um, and I was just telling Dennis over there that actually last year I kind of I hung up my boots, if you will. And I'm getting a little bit older, and it's definitely a young man's career, and got to make room for the, the younger guys yep. to come in, you know. Um, so I've gone on to teaching, but you know, still I still work on the ambulance every now and then. We're still associated with the firefighters. I got a lot of friends, you know, who are firefighters. You know, we we call it the Brotherhood. You know, and, and with that kind of sense of of family, you know, it kind of made me want to do this again for, for Billy and his family in honor of his son. So, so yeah. uh, you were a paramedic. Did you, were you a firefighter as well? You did both, I guess. I did both, yeah. yeah. And there are some fire departments in the area who, you know, they call them career fire departments or they're 24 hours. But we have a lot of volunteer or paid on call guys in the area. Um, Wood River has a combination, so they have some full timers and some paid on call guys, which is Billy's a paid on call guy. Um, they still do the same job, you know. But when you go to fight a fire, you can't fight a fire with two or three guys, right? You know, and so you kind of have to have more. And so that's how they kind of run their department, with, and, you know. And and on some sense, I don't know if it's still this way, but uh, like with uh, you have paramedics and firemen, there's a bit of an overlap where uh, there there was always on the fire mm-hmm. department there was the yeah. uh, paramedic uh, you know, division that, that's there mm-hmm. for uh, car wrecks and, and things yeah. like that. Medical so, calls, people getting sick, yeah. heart attacks. You guys yeah. are always like first on scene for a lot of stuff because you're a lot closer to where everything's going down. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, we try to put the, the uh, stations uh, in centralized I was, location. I was, I was trying to think of the name of my uncle worked on the uh, rescue squad. They called oh, yeah. it all for years where it was a part of the fire department, mm-hmm. but but it was more like an ambulance. Yeah. Uh, yeah, service. You, you dealt. You had specialized equipment for certain things. Yeah. Yep, and depending on where you go, they have you know truck units or ladder trucks and you know engine crews and um, different mm-hmm. things like that. So yeah, I was that, a big fan of as a kid of a show called Emergency Fifty One. Yeah, that had yeah. that little. Character. Yeah, it's almost a requirement. You go to any yeah. fire department, you got to watch those. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you, you always give an IV with D five W. Yeah, I mean, I grew up in California. Or Ringer's lactate. Right. Firefighters in our area were people out fighting brush fires. All my friends in high school, that's yeah. what they did. They've got digging uh, lines. And, yeah, because yeah, yeah, every you year never it's know. always on fire. So all my friends it, It's out, very you know. different depending on where you go. Out in the West, you got a lot of brush fires and things like that. Jumping 10 lane freeways. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, here we do get some brush fires, but depending on where you're at, you get, you get some structure fires. And most of the time, what we're seeing, kind of what you were saying, it overlaps. So you get a lot more medicals now than you do yeah. with fires. And I think some of that has to do with the fire prevention side of things. You know, I'm sure when you guys remember, you know, don't play with matches and, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. It, some of it's starting bear, to man. stick. Yeah. <laughs> so, so in Smokey your, the bear. Yeah, for you growing up, it was the big uh, out in California. It was oh, the, yeah. big, the big, uh, the big, uh, you know, brush fires or whatever in, in Alton. Back in like the seventies, what I remember is right. You could see it out the window. The box boards we call it. It's the the two towers right up right past the uh, 
the casino there. They would catch on fire every year when I was a green firm for like 72 mm, yeah. hours. It would just, the, 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 for three days, it would be on fire. Yeah, and the guys would be down there. High surface area of that combustible material. Oh, yeah, yeah. The more surface area, the quicker that's going to burn. Yeah, coffee mate, who knew? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so I, I, that, that's my fire memory as a child is, oh, the box boards are burning. We'll see. You know, it means for three days, there's going to be a fire in town. Yeah. Crazy thoughts, cra crazy memories going on there. Uh, 70s, what a dirty, what a dirty. It, it was like uh, that time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, my most memorable fire story is a friend of mine on Valentine's Day that may have caught my RV, <laughs> had something to catch my RV on fire. I'm what do you mean, mine? Sure. It's our RV. Yeah, our RV. RV. And, and, and I get a call from my insurance guy going, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, that insurance odd. guy, who's give him to call him by name. The insurance oh, yeah, guy. Matt Van Voorst. That's, that's the insurance guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matt calls me, what's going on? I said, I don't know. He says, well, I hear your RV's on fire. And I'm like, well, that's news to me and makes sense why I can't get a hold of Sean. <laughs> <laughs> So he, he got to get reacquainted with the fire department. I was fighting it with, with a bucket of his water. His love yeah. was so on fire for his wife that he almost caught a building on fire. Yeah, that's Valentine's Day love yeah. right there. Hey, baby, happy Valentine's Day. I almost burned the house Your down. wife will Our, never forget that either, I'm sure. The, the RV's <laughs> gone. The house almost. <laughs> it was a close call. Oh, Lord. Hey, good, you know what? Thank, thanks again to, to the uh, Alton Fire Department, Godfrey the Fire Department, <laughs> and Foster Park Fire Department, who, who all showed up that day. Oh, I'm sure man. they had a good laugh. Yeah. Yeah. About the small Jeff towns. Nelson, first of all, thank you for your service. Oh, you bet, man. Army, I mean, right? Yeah, Army six years, disabled vet, didn't awesome. do any, a couple uh, rods. fire training in, in the Army? Who's medical? No, I was in a hospital and, and, and MASH, like you see on TV, just mm -hmm. like that. Uh, yeah, we didn't deal with fire too much, unless we started fires, you know, with the uh, incendiary rounds and stuff like that. That was like the only fires I'd ever see, just, yeah. you know, shooting tracers, which well, was we, fun. You know, was on fire. <laughs> shooting tracers off in the distance. At night. Oh, yeah. Oh, pew, yeah. You see them every third round, and then all of a sudden, you know, that we're going to have to stop because, you know, you've started a brush fire. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of Who veterans uh, do do get firefighting training, especially Navy veterans, because uh, you know that's our house that's out huge. there. Oh, yeah. So everyone on the on this ship needs to know how to fight a fire. And uh, I knew so. how to carry a litter, uh, get people off of uh, you know uh, helicopters as they right. come in and, and, and stop wounds and well, triage and paramedic. sucking chest yeah. wound, you know all that good yeah, fun stuff. Yeah. Med yeah, you work medical. Oh yeah. You know a lot of the things that we do nowadays is because of these guys. Uh -huh. They tested yeah. a lot of that stuff and uh -huh. said, hey, it works. Uh -huh. And so then we've adapted a lot TBI's of the eyes now yeah. because of IEDs shaking yeah. people's brains, you know. And, and uh, well, I was going to bring up Anthony that you probably get a lot of guys that are ex-military that come absolutely. into the fire department. Yeah, I've had uh, quite a few of my students because now I teach, right? So, um, where, where do you teach at? So I teach at SWIC. Southwestern okay, nice, Illinois nice. College down in Belleville. Uh, I started there full time last in August. Uh, I left the ambulance full time. It's you know, different to, teaching though, isn't it? It is. You know, and, and I talked to my wife, and I'm like, you know, I, I really miss uh, mostly the guys around the firehouse because, like I said, it's a brotherhood. You know, yeah. um, who but, put the condom in the lasagna? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I grew up around firefighters. Oh, I get it's it. it's always it's always something. But you know, it my wife is like, Well think of how many other people you're now going to help yeah. by teaching the new people to get on the ambulance, right? And so yeah, just last semester one of my paramedic students, uh I believe he was army, he was stationed over no, Air Force, I think, Air Force. Yeah. He was stationed over uh he did a couple tours during Desert Storm. Um, you know, it was all over Europe doing that. One of the guys that I had worked with was also one of my students. He was Army. He was stationed up in Alaska. He drove the, Ooh, the yeah, Strikers, I yeah. think is what they called. Yeah. He drove those. So, yeah, we do get a lot. Um, we get a lot of, of people in fire and EMS who have prior, um, you know, military experience. Yeah. Yeah. The hair is already cut short. So, you know, right. I, I mean, right if you think about yeah. it, the fire department's a paramilitary organization. You know, you have your chief and you have yeah. your deputy chiefs and captains and lieutenants. And then yeah. we already understand stripes on the show. Yeah. So we, we, <laughs> Learn that from Bill we Murray. already know who, who we tell what to do and who Absolutely. tells us what to do. And haircuts. We yeah. And haircuts. Yeah. All about haircuts. Yeah. Because, yeah, sure. you know, we well, don't like the long hair. And, and uh, uh, there's a certain amount of uh, discipline that comes to being a first responder responder that has already been sort of instilled in mm -hmm. military yeah uh, so I, I would imagine that would 
go. You got to be calm under pressure. Yeah. And for those uh, just tuning in, uh, the reason I brought up haircuts is because we're talking about the St. Baldrick's event on uh, March 30th, a virtual event that uh, Anthony has been uh, putting on now for 15 years. And uh, so we talked about, you know, if someone wants to take a picture that day and uh, they can go to the website mm -hmm. and uh, just submit it there, I guess, upload it. Or yeah, upload well, so, it. So here, here's how it works, though, really, is like uh, Jeff Nelson here went to St. Baldrick's org yep. and, and and found the wood river event and signed up mm -hmm. and then he's been getting people to sponsor him yep. and and when he Maybe we get some more sponsor money yeah, if Pigpen could, yeah. could shave me. Yeah, yeah, I'll let Pigpen shave me. You know? I mean, it, it would be an event. And, and we're know. not just limiting it to, to <laughs> shaving you all the way. Yeah, you, oh, I mean, yeah, you want to shave? You want to shave the goatee? Yeah. No eyebrows. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. gosh. Yeah. Be nothing yeah. Left we we've you, talked buddy. some fire chiefs because you know how firemen are. They, they like the mustaches. We we've raised yeah. enough money to have some chiefs shave their mustaches. And nice. Jeff's gonna be completely smooth like a kid doll when I get done. Not because you know. We want to or have to it's just because i like yeah, to you it's, know, fun. it's fun it's you fun. know why not <laughs> so so, uh, so challenge so accepted the, but the, so the way uh, the way saint baldrick's as a as a company or as a uh, a fundraising organization, organization yep. works people like yourself set up these events and you mm -hmm. set a goal and you say we want to make at least five thousand yep. dollars from this event to donate to cancer research absolutely and so so you set that goal and then people in the community such as my good friend mr nelson here go you know what i'm going to shave my head and he gets sponsors and and every bit of you know and, and all these sponsors come together and and, and go for the, the big goal mm -hmm. so if anybody out there is really thinking hey man i want to be a part of this or i would like to to be a part in any way there there's two simple ways to be a part of it you can just log on and, and sponsor someone like Jeff Nelson yep. here. Right. You and, can, and, and, you know, we want to get to their goal. Uh, yeah. I think we're about a fifth of the way there. Yeah, maybe. we're a little over a thousand, I think. Right. And, and and I was thinking, well, shoot, if I could just raise a thousand on my own and then a couple of other people, we'd, yeah. we'd be there quick. And yeah, I asked absolutely. all my friends for just five or ten dollars, yeah. you know, and, and, and we really do want to make this, you know, goal for, you know, everybody. It's really easy to donate. All you got to right. do is go to the website. Stbaldrick.org forward slash events forward slash Wood River Fire. That'll take you right to our event. And it's actually preferred method of donating is donating online. It's a very secure website, so you don't have to worry about getting hacked or anything like that. That's a preferred method. Now, if you want to give cash, you can do cash checks. You can give them um, to him. He can get them to me, and then we can send them in. But the preferred method is online. online. And yeah, then nobody has to touch it. Goes straight in. Yep. Stbaldrick.org backslash forward slash oh, events. Forward slash. I'll tell you. Forward slash Wood River Fire. And, and that'll take you straight to this event. Mm -hmm. And it'll, it, there'll be a list of people, including Jeff and yep. your and yourself. Anthony, you're doing it too. Yep. I'm shaving my head. Uh, yeah. You know, my wife actually I shaved her head once. I saw her. I think I saw her name on like last year. That was kind of she's looking all, at She's website. always an event. Um, she'll usually be the um, treasurer. Right, so she's nice. usually there to handle the money. Nice. But there was one year she shaved her head as well. We've gotten quite a few females to shave their heads. My kids have shaved their heads in the past, yeah. you know, and so they look forward to it just as much as I do. Well, the so so the easiest way to get involved and to help this amazing charity, which is raising money for research for children's cancer. Uh, if you got something bad to say about that, I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> if, you, if, you if it's no not you're interested, Christmas, yeah, I'm if assuming. it's not something you're interested in, <laughs> no, but, uh, but no, that that is the easiest way to get involved is simply sponsor any of the people, and it's a one-time thing. You say, hey, I want to give five dollars. I want to give fifty dollars. It doesn't matter how much. Every little bit counts. There's another way you can get involved. It's a little bit more complicated, and that is do what Jeff Nelson here did. Sign up. And say I'm going to shave my head on March 30th. You don't even have to go to the Wood River Fire Department now. You just have to video or take pictures of yourself before and after and upload them. And the way it works is you you just just like Jeff did. You tell your friends, hey, can everybody give ten dollars? And and if, if it's another hundred dollars, another two hundred dollars, every little bit counts to get to that five thousand dollar goal. And that five thousand dollar goal is this one event in Wood River. This goes on all over the country, and that is how you get things done. It's it, you know it's same way like we said in the uh, beginning of the show. March of Dimes did it. You know mm -hmm. it, it, you can make a difference by by pitching in a little bit if everybody pitches in. I tell you, I haven't done anything like big like this for the community for a while. And as I started to call my friends and ask them and 
even spam them as they're on stage playing a song. <laughs> I got a, a, a note back, a text back from one of the artists. He says, "Hey, uh, as soon as I get done with this set, you know, I'll, I'll make sure right, I give to you." Stage and, and it was it was it was just great to to, to to see all my friends come together and give five ten dollars and raise so yeah. much money so fast, and then. I was really just like, holy cow, that was easy. Let's let's get more. Let's see how yeah. much we could get and push it. You now, know, I'm going to disagree with you with the beginning of your statement. You said, ah, it's been a while since I've done anything for the well, community. Yeah. But okay, yeah. I'm, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Mm -hmm. Jeff Nelson does something every day for the community because he works in cancer uh, research, you know, uh, in, in the industry of, of uh, cancer research and, and cancer uh uh, yeah, I don't even know how to say curing. Basically, uh, yeah, you know, I work for a giant uh, American company here in the U.S. Hologic that, it, and we are like the uh, the breast care company yeah. of the entire world. Actually, yeah. and, our and, machines find fifty four percent more cancer than anybody else's. Right. So, and, and uh, you make those machines. You build yes, those machines here in the U.S. You, yeah, right. And right here in the I mean, USA. you personally build them, and and Hologic as a company is one of the few American companies that hey we we need needles let's just make the needles that, yep, hey they we make need those some, in San you know, let's, let's let's not order them all from across seas let's just make it happen right covid here. we retooled all of their lab machines and they became covid machines and they grabbed guys from the imaging division and went into the lab division yeah. it's a very i mean it's, it's an ebb and flow if you company. look them up uh, they actually the first company to ever do a women's health global index to go out and go find out. all the needs of the women across in every country globally wow. And they, they're tracking that. And so cancer is near and dear to my heart. I, I yeah. deal with it every day. I was going to say, I, I work I, on the I, machines. I look at the images. I, and uh, I, I stop by so. your, your laboratory and see it every day. <laughs> Not every day, but often enough. A whole so. lot of uh, real estate with screens and whatnot and a lot of crazy looking logs and pictures, I imagine. <laughs> it's, it, you feel like you're watching a beautiful mind. Yes. Little, little schematics all over the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. You yeah. live in a tiny world right, sometimes, right, my friend. Oh, yeah. No, uh, yeah, 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 so I, uh, I'm just giving you kudos yeah. for... Yeah. Uh, the, the I, I job try, that you yeah. do every I day. I wake up every day, and it really does, you know. Yeah. That, it's nice to have a job. You feel like you wake difference. up and you got a purpose. You make a difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So there you go. And and kudos to the folks from Whole Logic for, for uh, doing what they do because uh, they seem to be a company that, that, that cares. Yeah, uh, they really do. They're so, leaders uh, in the industry, and it's nice. Uh, and again, American company and a manufacturer here go. in the U.S. Speaking of America, what's going on uh, in our little town in America? Well, you know, this? I was I was thinking, Pig Ben, I, I got yeah. a, a great marketing tool for bands that okay. I'm going to pass on. Okay, All so right. what you do is, you know how these bands will like, you know, they'll do live streams or whatever, do a little live video of them playing out on the weekend. Well, why not on March 30th when you're playing out, shave, shave your, your head. heads live you and raise some money? For yeah. cancer. Now that would be impressive to see if I'm in a club. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Throw and out, then that's throw out the tip online, jar. Right. Yeah. Throw out the tip jar. Right. Right. Let's put St. Baldrick's on it and, and be like, I'm shaving my head. But somebody put some money in there. There's here. a radio station I listen to that tells you all the events and times of all the local artists. I'll just have to pick one between now. And <laughs> what, what radio station is that? I don't even know. I have no idea. <laughs> I, mean, I wonder if we I could know like, these guys. Just <laughs> get like a busload of barbers together oh. and go around and just. Like drop in on bands and force them into shape. Bus load of barbers. Right that was, was an gonna, album. See, we're gonna go U2 right? style. Yeah, right. You might not want my album, but I'm gonna give it to you. You might not want your head shaved, but this is what we're, we're doing. We're it, doing right? it. We're doing it. <laughs> yeah, what do you call that when? Uh, we talked about you know because we mow yards it's like you know we should just stop at some yards that need mowed and just mow them like yeah. commando gorilla mowing yeah, gorilla yeah, mowing yeah, there yeah. you go yeah. gorilla style. we do the same thing with haircuts there you go except we won't bring our lawnmowers uh, except for those Clippers. kids with the long hairs my kids you need a haircut <laughs> just leave us long haired hippies alone <laughs> right there you go man how about that cut your hair during long haired country boy yeah yeah well that'd be a sight to see yeah, I, well, you know, I, I, I'm down. Uh, I, who, who is that? Uh, uh, Hank, not Hank Williams Jr. Who is this? That's that Charlie. Charlie, Charlie Daniels. Charlie, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, it took me a minute there. Long haired country boy. Charlie yeah. Daniels, in case you're wondering which Charlie. C C CDB, I don't have time to say okay. Charlie Daniels, but I'm in a hurry. <laughs> so. All right, well, I, I got a few minutes to uh, say some bands real quick. We'll do Friday night with uh, Up All Night down at Fast Eddie, starting at 7.30, going to 11.30. The uh, Buzz Tone's going to be at the VFW from 7 to 11. Steve Ewing Band. 
Ryan. Ah. At, uh, Bakers and Hale from 7 to 11 on Friday. Double Wide Duo out at uh, Locks Brick House in Bethalto from 7 to 10. Everheart and Light at the Moose and Wood River from 7 to 10 on Friday. Strangers Duo 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville Friday night. Velvet Dawn at the Moose in Edwardsville on Friday night from 7 to 11. Schaefer and Sims 7 to 11 at the Cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carbon. Hicktown down at Deutz Village Inn from 8.30 to 12.30 a.m. Uh, flip side, 8 o'clock at Bindi's in Granite City. And uh, how about this? Here's a tribute. 1973 music of Journey. Specific year. <laughs> okay. That's All pretty right. Steve Perry. And that, is that pre Steve Perry? There I was is. getting ready to say that's like Stone and Love era. That's the early era. They but were, yeah. When they started, they were a prog band. Okay. You know, Neil Sean's coming from. Uh, Santana. Santana, dude, right. 15 years old playing on stage at Woodstock, man. That, 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 just a kid. Just a kid, I tell you. I yeah. like that, though. 1973 Set. music of Journey, and that's going on that's at the Miner Theater in uh, Collinsville. Yeah, look at that. Theater down there, beautiful theater, and uh, I'm sure some of the proceeds probably go towards refurbing uh, that place. They're getting it looking really nice, and we're seeing more shows down there, so that's exciting. And and the shows that we're seeing there are, are interesting, uh, not your run-of-the-mill shows. There's some local shows doing local music and things of, of this nature. 1973 Journey. That's I, I'm 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 down for for checking that out. Yeah, check out hey, the first Journey album, Pig. Yeah, if you get a chance, you'll hey, be surprised. Hey, check this out. Our our guest from was it last week? Mm -hmm. Joints twenty two. Uh, those kids were uh, uh, fun. The Zoom Waltz. The Zoom Waltz. That's right. They were brothers. I forgot. Mm -hmm. uh, Abel and Aiden. Yeah, Abel and Aiden, Cain and Abel. No, no, no? no? okay. <laughs> Abel and Aiden, come on. Uh, I'm just saying. Uh, yeah. their name again. <laughs> now, Joints 22 is the name of the band. They are going to be playing at the Red Top Barbecue in Collinsville along with Matt Heaton. Uh, and that is happening tomorrow night. And then another guest right under that, Big Ben. Outlaw Opry. Right. We got them 7 to 11 at the Tri County Riding Gun Club in Brighton. We got a house party going down. Uh, in Bunker Hill on Saturday with Silver Material on H7. Check out the link at cottonmouth.org if you dare. I believe Silver Material is going to be our guest next week. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I'm 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 99% sure that yeah that that's them. So there you go. Cool. Silver Material next week. We'll talk to them and find out. My favorite young band officially. That, I already have my ticket for their Road Road to Point Fest. Do you? Nice, I do. nice. I, you know what? I, we, I've only seen them the one time. I saw them play last summer at the Trinity River Fest. Uh, we were out there. It was hot. We were running sound. We had been out there all weekend, so it gets to where you know sometimes you're just kind of watching. But these guys, they, they, these kids came out, uh, did all original material, put on a great show. But but what caught me more than anything was the crowd. They they were an early band. They had a pretty good sized crowd. And people range from older than me to teenagers. Wow, that's and, old. And uh, yeah, I mean there, there was there was really some, old. There, I mean there were some older folks there, great right, down to like teenage kids, and and they were all singing along with the, these original songs. They knew the words. They were that, probably looking at you the same way, going, "Wow, look at that old guy." Oh sure, yeah. <laughs> Somebody help him. <laughs> My favorite part of their story when we interviewed them was they were all Lewis and Clark students. And so they all took the video classes, and oh. each of them had to make a video. So they just made all their videos <laughs> for <laughs> Silver Material Perfect. while yeah. they were there. Yeah. Perfect. They, Earned they, credit for it. Yeah, yeah. It, it was one of those. They were all in college, Genius. so they were, so they, uh, they were like, well, everybody take them. the video class, and everybody make one video for the album, and we'll have videos for the whole album. Yeah. And we, don't, we get to use the college's equipment. <laughs> They'll teach us so, how to do so it. Can our band do this, too? Yeah, right? yeah sure, no. man. Okay, sure, right. man. I, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 Big Ben still hasn't finished college. You need to go back and finish I anyway. I, I got a degree. It, it took me <laughs> one sixteenth of a credit short. No, I, I got my. I, I have. I have a degree, and I spent just as many years in Knowledge. college as my wife, who's a lawyer. Right. I do not have a law degree by any means, but there was a giant part of his college career where he was on dead tour. I, well, so perfect excuse. That was, that was research. That was research. Here's, here's the thing, though. If you look at it from from my perspective, 
I was helping our community exactly. college because every year I would give them money for classes and go for a week and then go to a Grateful Dead show and never show up again. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'd come back after tour and go, hmm, maybe next year. Did I miss the lab? How come I got an incomplete? <laughs> you know what, though? Like I say, I'd say, you know, it's, I, I got it. It took me a minute. It took me. It, all, all that had to happen was Jerry Garcia had to die, and then I finished mm -hmm. college. Yeah, yeah. It's all it's it took. Yeah, I joined That's the military. It. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it was like nothing's going on now for a while. I better go back to school. Well, there was the after after Garcia died. There was two years of Further Fest, but after Further Fest, there was definitely right, nothing right. to do. Right. I remember uh, uh, being on Dead Tour because I'd jump on and off with him and telling him is like, just go back and do the intern part at least. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. And so he did over yeah. at Casey and got yeah. a job. That that was the uh, that was actually the final thing is that I I got all my credits and he and they said well you can't graduate because you didn't do the internship you still got to do that I'm like ah, whatever. It's a good time, man. You know what? Good. <laughs> Kudos to the to the college, and and I'm glad I supported them all those years. But and, and yeah, you, you, you got a new teacher sitting next to you. And yeah, that's right, Slick. Yeah. Which you know they they wouldn't accept me there. I tried again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll they, welcome you back now. Yeah, uh, 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 that is South Southwest. Yeah, Southwestern Illinois College. And, yeah. and uh, is it out of Belleville? I yeah, think. our main campus is in Belleville, but we have campuses in Granite City, right. Redbud, yeah. East St. Louis. So we got quite a few. What do you teach, actually? Everything. I mean, are you uh, teaching firefighting oh, skills or, so or me EMT? Personally, yeah, oh, I, so I teach first responder classes. Okay. I teach EMT, and then I teach the paramedic program. Awesome. Wow. So, That's a big chunk. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and I, I, I'm going to just take a gander that you actually, you're, because it is a college situation, you actually get to teach these things. Because we have a few high school teachers that say, they don't get to teach. They only get to program kids to take tests. Right? Yeah, no, you have to. So with, with our program, there's not only written tests, but there are hands-on things, you know, because you have to be able to talk to people and, and touch people when you're treating them as yeah. an EMT or paramedic. So, yeah, you, I mean, it's it's not just, it's not your average math class, that's for sure. It's not all resuscitation, Annie. No, <laughs> that's that's the first day of EMT class. If you can't pass that. <laughs> if you can't deal with resuscitation, Annie, you yeah. will go nowhere. Uh, <laughs> and they teach that in high schools now. Yeah, wow. okay, so, there you go. Yeah. I, I I was taught that as a as a child, having my dad as a fireman. It was oh, like, I'm hey, sure. Hey, all yeah, my yeah. kids know it, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we, we were... <laughs> You know, made to go to like the YMCA or whatever it was. I can't even remember. I think it might have been the hospital even, but mm. yeah, you know, and learn. My kids teach the teachers. That's not what my dad said. That's not how you're supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're supposed to say one Mississippi, <laughs> two Mississippi. <laughs> uh, so there you go. The uh, what, what did did we get all the way through our our Friday? Well, we didn't get to Jay Hollinger up at uh, George's Pub okay. and Grill. All right, uh, in Jerseyville on Friday night from six to nine, and uh, Sam. Creek up at the Rustic and Warden from 7 to 11, of course, experience live music row all weekend. There you go. Uh, I, I felt like we got off talking about silver material there and and, and I got off on it. Didn't oh, I, I, <laughs> I still am. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I'm using all the towels. No, I don't. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, Yo, Beowulf, one of them bands, going to be down to experience live music role. Oh, nice. Bring those guys they, up. You know, and, and man, those a lot of good times uh, with those guys through the years. Uh, the, the owners of the two grannies rockers clubs that back in the day were just uh, the nightclubs around here. So kudos kudos to those guys still being a part Speaking of that of big fire, part of the music scene. They'll be a copper fire. Copper fire. Yeah. There you go. We're talking uh, about the uh, Wood River Fire Department, uh, March 30th, uh, nationwide. St. Baldrick's uh, fundraiser where uh, everyone cuts their hair, gets sponsors, and, uh, you know, helps out some childhood cancer. And uh, I think it's a, a very good visual because, you know, a lot of people know when you go through cancer, you get chemo, you lose your hair. Yep. So if you're a non-cancer patient and you're helping cancer patients and you're willing to cut your hair and show that you go through what they went through not quite as bad but the visual is there yeah. and uh, it really brings attention to it i think it, it's a great idea yeah we even have buttons that we give you and says ask me why i'm bald yeah exactly <laughs> yeah 
It was a bad electrolysis accident. <laughs> <laughs> Just help spread the word, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I yeah. was in a bar playing as a band, and these guys came in with these clippers and just started shaving me. I don't know who they were. <laughs> Gorilla style, just gorilla you know, style. run a mohawk down everybody's head, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> like Zorro, put a big B mm -hmm. on the wall for Baldrick's and then leave. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun and interesting. Now that we get to shave our own head, I, you know, we can get real creative with this and create a nice. Oh, we, we good would video. get creative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we absolutely. we would give people faux hawks or or do the absolutely the, like the monk style where you're bald <laughs> on top, the male pattern baldness. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm I'm starting to see it as an art project now. Absolutely, sure. Yeah, yeah we can get creative you know, with it. Yeah, we got we get got it real tall, put a lot of glue in it first, and see what we can do. <laughs> I actually saw a guy that did that, and he had the dancing bears on it from uh, the Grateful Dead. It looked nice. pretty cool, but nice. you know. I, I went to high school with a girl who had a mohawk that stood up, and she was like egg to do it or something yeah. weird like that. I don't know if she was telling the truth, but you know, I, I think, don't, I don't I think believe what women say to me. I don't know. Because no. <laughs> there was a guy in my high school who had a mohawk, too, Yeah, and and then he would use Kool-Aid to dye it with. Oh. <laughs> Can't even do that now. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Smells like black cherry. <laughs> That's a scratch and sniff mohawk. <laughs> oh man! No, I, yeah, it's it. That is very interesting. Hey, we got. Let, let's get through the Saturdays. Where, where? You know, I was thinking this takes place on uh, March thirtieth. I yeah. wonder, like, on April Fool's Day, how many people are going to be thinking, "Was that some kind of April Fool's joke you did there when you shaved your head?" And you can say, "No, man, I yeah, raised some money." Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's April. The the joke's on you. Somebody shaved your head one night when, yeah. or wrote on you. All I know is I didn't take out the trash and my <laughs> wife shaved my head. I don't know. <laughs> if, if these guys go through this plan I heard them talking about, there's it's going to be an April Fool's when a lot of pe bands wake up the next day bald and they don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. I was playing a gig. I passed out. I'm bald. And the tip jar was empty. <laughs> uh, true fact. You really don't need your eyebrows. I mean, they really serve no purpose. So oh, yeah. I think you can just get rid of them. Yeah, yeah. They're Right. Yeah, they're, they're decoration. Absolutely, at best, it's purely cosmetic. Yeah, and you can be like Sid Barrett, <laughs> or, or Pinky. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I, I played in a band with a guitar player who shaved his eyebrows off, and and he. He looked funny, but he didn't seem to like you know drive over the line. <laughs> it didn't change his vision in any way that I could tell. Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah. So 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 is that what you're going to go for the whole the, the shave your yeah. yeah we're going to get rid of all of it. We're, we're I think you and I could get real creative. Uh, you got to donate the, the ponytail. Um, yeah, I think we should. We should. Uh, yeah. I, I know the last time I did it, they put in a whole bunch of ponytails when they did it and uh, cut all these individual ponytails yeah. off. But I think that would be yeah yeah we could we could get real creative with it but yeah. uh, a double win be able to create a wig and and that was the reason why i grew it out anyways you know so yeah. so there you go it works man. out again uh, that the easiest way to give to this and and there's there's no reason not to it's it all, all every bit of the money 100 percent of the money is going to saint baldrick's to to help you know mm -hmm. find, find a cure for children's medicine cancer. and if you've ever it's been medicine, in medicine yeah. And that's anybody that's ever done medicine will tell you that's the worst thing is having to deal with a sick child. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. And so I think that hits everybody, you know, at home. You know, yeah. no, I mean, it's one thing when one of us adults gets sick, you know, we have to deal with it. But, you know, when you see a sick child, yeah. it, you know, your heart really just goes out to them. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they absolutely. didn't ask for this. No. no. So hey, there you hey go. Ben, think, uh, talking about good community events, do you realize that Saturday, is halfway to Earth Tones. Is it already halfway yeah. to Earth Tones? Man, it seems like we just had Earth Tones. I know. And uh, they're going to have an artist gathering down at Jacoby's from noon until 2 on Saturday. So you can go in there and uh, give some input and yeah, maybe get involved yeah. in that. There you go. And, and Jacoby's uh, always always doing great stuff. We were talking about uh, Jeff Nelson's involvement in the, in the music community. He's going to be down there. Uh, on April 19th, he's going to be down yeah. at Jacoby's, not only with Higher Sound running sound, but uh, with the Sandwich Brothers playing some music, and it is bike day. So everybody likes to celebrate 420, sure, I'm down, but let's not forget 419, National Bike Day. 
Uh, so, good shout out to Jacoby's for, for letting that one go on also. Jacoby's always uh, doing good stuff Great down there. Great yeah. people. All right, also going on Saturday down at the conservatory, all original show it looks like, Serve a Day with Where's the Rum, <laughs> Okay. The Public, <laughs> and Shareholder. $10 show down at the conservatory, doors at 6, right here in uh, downtown Alton. Also, Duology 2 to 6, up all night, 7.30 to 11.30 at Past Eddie's in Alton City. He doing the BFW on Saturday from 7 to 11 here in Alton. Flip the Frog out at Baker's and Hale in Godfrey. What a weekend out at Baker's and Hale. Yeah, a lot going on there. Steve Ewing, you got Flip the Frog, and then I forget there's another one on the list. Oh, on we'll Sunday, see you in a minute. yeah. We'll see you yeah. in a minute. BC Homegrown is going to uh, be playing down nice. at the uh, franchise in Wood River on Saturday at 7 o'clock. They'll sell that place out easy. I, I would think. Yeah. <laughs> Scott and Michelle, uh, 2 to 6, as they start the acoustics down at uh, the Pump House in Wood River and Trixie Delight doing the 9 o'clock slot down there on Saturday. Grand Pagano up at George's Pub and Grill in Jerseyville from 6 to 9 on Saturday. Rogers and Ian House up at the Grafton Winery Brew House from 3 to 7 and Backwood Backwoods Burden, 2 o'clock at the uh, Grafton Pub up there in Grafton. Rewind in uh, Edwardsville on Saturday from 6 to 9 at Big Daddy's and the Trophy Mule is just around the corner doing the uh, happy hour at the Stagger Inn in Edwardsville from 5 to 8. The County Chills Wrestling Alliance fires it up. It's like uh, March Madness or something like that. I forget. March Meltdown. You know, they got some good <laughs> theme going, right? And uh, that's taking place at the Legion in Edwardsville. Bobby and Jimmy Rollins at Lyle's Tavern in Maryville. Ten String Dream at the uh, Cabin at Judy Creek and Glen Carbon from 7 to 11 on Saturday. And the Flipside Trio, 7 o'clock at the Neighborhood Social Club in Pontoon Beach. Just B, that's uh, Sinatra and uh, that type of music. Ooh, They'll be yeah. doing uh, 7 to 10 at Manhattan's Coffee and Social House in Granite City. How many uh, Sinatra covers do you get to see? Well, you know, not, not that many anymore. A, good one. a little Dean Martin action, a little Rat Pack mm -hmm. action yep, going on yep, there. Yep. And uh, it's a, it's a male-female duo, so they do a lot of the female stuff from that era, which I'm drawing a blank on right now. But Ella Fitzgerald. Go. Probably. Ella Fitzgerald. Eddie James. Mm -hmm. I don't know, yeah. good, good stuff going on there, though. Love it, me. I, I dig some Sinatra, man. I like the big band sound. Oh, yeah. I like the punches that they that, that the horns and the and mm -hmm. the end drums will get. Dun, 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 Sending the clowns by Sinatra. That has to be my absolute favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Fly me to the moon. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, really, my, my favorite Sinatra thing is he, he has a movie. Uh, he was he started called Man with the Golden Arm, and he's a or he's a drummer, and he's an, like it shows him playing just a snare drum and just ripping it up, like he's an amazing drummer, man. You know, yeah, and you don't think of that when you think of Sinatra. You know, it's kind of like Justin Bieber. You know, well, you know? back <laughs> in those days, you had to have more than one talent. <laughs> <laughs> you kidding me? I'm a triple threat. I can sing, dance, and guess the weight of any baby thrown to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what else we got going? Oh, Beyond FM's got one going on. Yeah, you skipped sick, uh, Hicktown, but uh, yeah. that's all right. We mentioned them. They're there on Friday night and Saturday at Deutz. <laughs> Doing the double Pontier header. Beach, yeah. Double Going header. With your Beyond Beyond. Yeah, Beyond, Beyond FM 24 7 showcase number six. It's uh, got Birds of Squalor. We just had those guys on a few weeks ago with us. Uh, <laughs> the Rehumanizers. I like that one. Roommate and the Randys. I'm feeling kind of randy myself. <laughs> and along with our friends 1781. That's all going on. It pops over in SoJ and Beyond FM is uh, they play nothing but local music 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you are in a local band and you have a recording that is decent, send it to them. And Tony is also, Tony Willingham, also booking uh, like Red Flag and Pops. So yeah, doing, he's doing need to lots follow of him shows. Because He's always saying, hey, I need bands for this, that, or the other thing. So uh, you can get some gigs just by following him. 
Yeah, and, and it doesn't. It, it, he's not specific to what type of music. It's local, it's all over local the place. Yeah. yeah, local music is all he cares about. It, is that it's uh, local original music. His so. gigs as well. He uh, mixes it yeah. up. You know, he'll come on and say, well, "I need punk bands for this date. I need country bands for this date. I need you know." Yeah. So uh, no matter what, I need format, some Frank Sinatra bands for this date. There's only one. <laughs> just me, I think. So <laughs> they'll get all the gigs. <laughs> It's uh, kind of like being a fiddle player. You're going to get a lot of gigs. Sure, man. Right. If you can play the trumpet, go down to New Orleans. You'll always work. They're always looking for trumpet players there. And Dave uh, Horton, he's a country guy. He'll be doing uh, the Rustic and Warden at 7 o'clock on Saturday and the Salunatics down at Schmitty's in Belleville at 8 o'clock. <laughs> All right, that's a good name. The Salunatics. They're starting to do gigs down at Eckerd's uh, Cider Shack in Belleville. Short miss down there on Saturday from 6 to 9. And uh, off the wall out in Root House. At Martin Lane's at uh, eight o'clock. So and uh, he remember Cluster Pluck? Oh yeah, uh, man, I like those guys. They're releasing an album. It's called Horseshoes and Hand Grenades. All right. Well, uh, they'll be playing uh, their release party at the old Rock House on Saturday. Oh wow! With uh, Hunter Peebles and the Moonlighters. Nice, nice. So it's a uh, twenty dollars in advance, twenty five day of show at the old Rock House. Yeah, those guys are uh, they're a fun seen group. Them in a while. Yeah. Speaking of fun guys, how about Hayes Bond? I haven't heard that name on a show you know, in a while. I, I, I had heard, uh, heard they, they've been on hiatus, and I had heard uh, Little Birdie told me that, that uh, their drummer had had a baby, and he kind of got busy, and they got somebody kind of, another drummer kind of sitting, whether he's sitting in in the meantime or just kind of drearing or taking his place. I'm not sure, but, uh, yeah, I heard that they were fixing to come back mm -hmm. out. Playing so, uh, with another former guest. Tree one four. Oh, nice. Wow. There you go. And uh, Native State. They'll oh, be playing at the Central Stage. Central Stage. stage. Nice. Right. There you go. In St. Louis. So, uh, yeah. And uh, Ruby Lee sold out another show. This time. Surprise, uh, surprise, man. That girl's going to be selling out a lot of shows. A place called The Barn at Wood Fort in Troy. And uh, so they've scheduled a second show now for July 13th. So if you missed out on Ruby, you'll have to check it out next time. Better catch her before she's in arenas. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it's not going to... She just got back from Nashville, rubbing elbows down there, folks. She's, sure. She was in the green room for uh, Adam Wainwright's oh. show down in uh, Nashville. Nice, so, nice. They're buddies. We got a festival on uh, Sunday, downtown Alton. Yeah. The Buzz Beer Festival. All right. And who do you get to play that? You get Lochte's Comet. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, I, you know what? I... I like those guys. Uh, those kids are, are doing a good job. They're they're taking a fresh look at music. Uh, very jazzy. Love the horns. Uh, so I, I like to see all the young. Anytime I see the young kids playing live music, I absolutely love it. But really dig the Lofty's Comet there. So they're playing at the Old Bakery Beer okay. Company, and all, all right. and uh, they're raising money to support the Pius Hall Palisade Sierra Club. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. Let's keep that river clean, guys. <laughs> got a lot of nice cleanup organizations around the uh, river bend, don't we? Uh, you, you kind of have to have, uh, because like when uh, Trinity's Way, who we just had on a few weeks ago, whenever uh, I've walked with them down the river and, and you pick up so much trash and party, he goes, where's it all come from? Sure, there's jerks who are throwing it out their windows, but a lot of it's just coming from up north down the river and getting caught on our shorelines. Uh, so, you know, it's it's a shame, but it is it is the way it is. Hey, we mentioned Jerry earlier. Remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So down at the lodge this weekend, they're having the Jerry Jam. Mm -hmm. Okay, tell me more. It's hosted by uh, Donna Rusk and uh, Teresa Penrose, oh. two to five at the Lovejoy in Alton. Well, I'm I'm pretty interested in that. I do love me some Jerry. Mm -hmm. Also going on Sunday, duology and cross the line at Fast Eddie's. Grand band at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville from 4 to 7. Of course, the open mic at the uh, Stagger Inn every Sunday night. And uh, Scott Marlin and Carrie Joe at the uh, Cabin at Judy Creek from 3 to 6. Tim Campbell 2 to 6 at, in, uh, at Deutz in Pontoon Beach. Synergy up at Grafton Winery from 1 to 5. The Ray Band 2 o'clock at Grafton Pub. Cabin Fever doing their first show at Wild Pickens from 2 to 6 on Sunday. And uh, Sarah Springman Schumacher playing over at Pat Connolly in St. Louis from 7 to 9 on Sunday. There you go. You know, it, it's funny. You Just a minute ago, you mentioned the central stage. 
And I was like, oh, yeah, the central stage. And I've been trying to picture my mind. It's the bottom floor of KDHX. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I walk past it all the time. <laughs> oh, sometimes yeah. the, the, the wheels just don't fall in place too easy, man. Uh, I so know they go. can fall in place. Tell them again about the event we're talking about here tonight. St. Baldrick's. And St. Baldrick's is a national... Uh, organization that is raising money for research for children's cancer an unbelievably great cause and and uh the great uh, strides made in it every day our guest uh anthony perez uh, right next to me is is the host of this particular yep. saint baldrick's which is march 30th and it's sponsored by the wood river uh fire department but yep. now has gone virtual virtual it's yep. going to be online so uh people want to see this they just go to saint org forward slash events forward slash wood river fire that take you right to our website you can donate to us if you want to sign up and shave your head you can do that at the website as well there is still time and i'm i, I somebody somebody here at the station named nick i'm not going to give a last name <laughs> said he was looking for a reason to shave his head so no, I, I, we're I, looking for more people I, to shave their heads feel the pressure nick no you should you should you could you could help raise so much money yeah Cause, Think cause of what you, know, you could raise, Pigpen. You ready to ready to say goodbye to those uh, gray locks you've got? I'm like Samson. <laughs> All my power comes from here. I, no, I I have it. I have already done this. I've done this sort of yeah, thing in the past. Times, and this yep. is the uh, when you brought St. Baldrick's to my attention was the first I had heard of this. When I had gone through Locks of Love in the past, which is another great organization, uh, because it, any organization that is uh, helping children um, e either deal with uh, cancer and going through chemo or whether it's research to help uh, find the cure uh, it, it, there's there's no bad organization on, right. on, on that side that I know of so uh, uh, St. Baldrick's this is the first uh, Jeff Nelson uh, the other the other voice the other guest we have here uh, my my buddy my 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 business partner we've done a lot of things partner in crime yeah <laughs> but there, there's not much we can't uh, the two of us can't accomplish together over the years uh and and right now you're out to accomplish raising some money and helping saint baldrick's reach a goal which is five yeah, thousand yeah. dollars exactly i mean if we could get them to that uh you know uh, uh, you know amount of money and, and reach their goal you know I, uh, that that's my goal yeah you know and i didn't think i'd be able to raise more than a hundred dollars and shoot i'm halfway to a thousand now just yeah, on my awesome own. yeah so so, so uh, there you, there you go and and that that's it. So so you're 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 hitting five the five hundred dollar mark right there. If you want to be a part of this, go to St. Baldrick's dot org and and you can sponsor Jeff. You can sponsor Anthony. It doesn't matter who you sponsor. Yep. All the money goes to the same place, and yep. there is no ego or a real competition. It's just everybody trying. To, Let's get, to get this everybody money to pitch to in a charity. few dollars. Yep. And, and and it's no different as I equated earlier than the March of Dimes going door to door, except. The whole point of shaving the head is sort of like, hey, look, I'm I'm going to do this goofy thing if you'll give some money. It's a sign and of it's solidarity. It's a sign of solidarity to, uh, uh, to the folks who are losing their hair to, yep. to chemo. So, and for those out there in our listening audience, uh, <clears throat> if you're trying to remember this after you get off the air, just think St. Patrick's only bald. It's St. Baldrick's. <laughs> yes. Dot we'll org. Play on words. And you, you don't even have to remember the forward slash stuff because when you get to the dot org site, there's a search engine right there. Yep. You just type in Wood River. That's how it's, I do it. Is that how you do yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. Just yeah. wood space river and it takes you right there. It's yeah, so, so easy. So the, all you have to remember is St. Baldrick. Forward slash backslash O R G. And slash. that's all you need. I think you could even search your name. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So I just type in Nelson. Wood River because I like to see kind of, you know, how much money they've got. You can see the total mm -hmm. and you can see the other folks that are trying to raise money as well. I see a lot of firefighters on there, yep. obviously. Yep. Um got a I think one of our firefighters from Edwardsville. Uh, one of the other guys from Highland as well. So, yeah. So again, easiest way to get involved: SaintBaldrick's.org and donate. You want to go a step further? Sign up to shave your head on March 30th. You don't even have to leave the house to do it. You just take pictures and upload it, and ask all your friends to between now and then log on and and, and hit you with five, ten dollars. And all our bands listening out there, don't forget put the tip jar out March 30th and shave your head during your show. Your, your video will go viral it will could be part you know, of the sound if if you don't clean the, the razor and, and cut too deep your head might go viral too I don't, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure so 
<laughs> hey, I want to thank you, Anthony Perez, Thanks for, for having all me. those years uh, as a firefighter and a paramedic and being out there on the front lines and now training yes. our future yep. saviors. Hopefully. To, uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, thank you, Jeff Nelson, for your service. Man, I'm just trying. Yeah. You know, like everybody else, one day at a time. <laughs> That's right. And uh, I want to give a shout out again to uh, your buddy, Billy Owens. Yes. Do you happen to know the name of his son? His son's name is Wyatt. Wyatt. Yeah. Right. Diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. He All just right, he buddy. rang the bell the other day. He had his last Did he rang dose the bell? of nice. chemo. Yep. Way to go, Wyatt. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. There you go, man. So, yeah. so there you go. Also, uh, uh, in addition to thanking our guests, big thanks to the sponsors, Halpin Music Company and Matt Van Voris of Macias Insurance. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't get to come in here. Not only jack around, but every now and again, uh, it's mainly we jack around every week. But sometimes we'll tell you about something that is actually important to the community. And, and jack around. And, 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 and I don't think I like like I don't think there was any fake news tonight. I think this was pretty much all. All real stuff. That we'll might be a watch a video. Might be a record right there. I, I I'm just saying, uh, yeah. we didn't run off the rails at all. Okay. <laughs> Compared to no, it's relative. Okay. Very relative. relative. Depends on where your play. zero is at. So, right. <laughs> right. Depends on where your zero is. Exactly. All right. Hey, thanks to everybody for listening. We will catch up with you next week. Everybody, get out and support local music and art and St. Baldrick's.